-hmm. And televis Rod Parsley is under fire for claiming America's founders released all their slaves. Take a look. Please put away hate. We live in a great land. Let me shout it before you respond to me. It was founded by people just like you, flawed people. But those framers frame the liberties that every one of us enjoy today. If you hate America, please give me your alternative. Don't hate our founders. That's a lie. Oh, wow. So joining us to discuss Ron Parsley's comments and to discuss race, faith, and the church's role in these uncertain times is the very prolific Bishop Noel Jones. Welcome to the Black Report, Bishop Jones. Yes, sir. Well, well I'm, glad, uh, I'm glad you asked me to come. And uh, it's always good to be able to voice an opinion, particularly in the hour in which we live. Absolutely. Yeah, now, before we begin, today's Juneteenth. Can you please tell us what this holiday means to you and how do you plan on celebrating today? Well, tomorrow we're going to have a, a, a community of preachers and we're going to pray seriously about what's happening in Tulsa. That's mm. what we're going to do tomorrow. So we're going to reach up into the heavenlies and see if God can keep everything peaceful and, and and keep all this madness from going askew. So mm -hmm. that's how I'm going to celebrate Juneteenth. Mm -hmm. But uh, I celebrate Juneteenth uh, every day by operating within the parameters of our community, mm -hmm. keeping things going. Right now, we're still wide open. We're feeding everybody we can. Where the Noel Jones Learning Center is open. So we're doing all the things that we should do to make uh, people's lives better. And I think it's very important. Uh, one of the things that we have got to learn, though, and uh, I'm not uh, bursting anybody's bubble. Stephen Green is an enormous human being. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we, we need to get away from all the symbols and actually get into the real situations that change our lives. Okay. There's two things. It's either we're going to fight for it and go and go toe to toe fighting a group of people who have aircraft carriers all around the world. Uh, we can't win that battle. But this is a capitalistic country. And if we start messing with other people's money, uh, it'll change how they treat us. Right. Mm. Now, you, you told us how you plan on celebrating Juneteenth. I want to know what Juneteenth means to you. Okay. Well, I'm a Texan. So, uh, well, I spent 18 years in Texas when I, when I uh, pastored there. Mm -hmm. And that it's a big holiday because it's finally Juneteenth went to Texas on all of those issues. Mm -hmm. uh, slaves were freed before they knew they were free. Correct. And, uh, and that's a very critical piece. Mm -hmm. uh, so what it means to me is that my ancestors, that I was not a part of their lives, were jubilant. And I think that history should come down to all of us where today we should be jubilant and very happy. So what it means to me is we have been released for a greater life. Mm. Now, Bishop Jones, we just saw that clip. What were your thoughts when you heard Ron Parsley's comments? Well, you know, I'm a preacher. And so you have to understand this one thing, that uh, many times preachers deal in generalities and don't deal with what is specifically in front of them. Oh. And then, you know, you have to have the preacher's voice. You have to have the ambiance, you know, the spirit of the Lord and, and the Lord is speaking to me about all this stuff. Mm -hmm. The real issue here is not about fathers uh, and all of that stuff about whether the, the founders freed the slaves. Here is the issue that we're faced with. Our founding fathers put a document together and if you notice, and I'll do a piece one of these days on the documents, Hammurabi Code. You go from Hammurabi Code to the law uh, in, the, in the scriptures, uh, the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. You go from that to the Magna Carta. You go from the Magna Carta to the Constitution. If you follow the history of these things carefully, you will find that when a group of people have come through 
the kind of predicament that other people put them through in slavery and enslave. And no image of God should be enslaved. I don't care what the color is. When God made man in his own image, mm -hmm. he intended that from, for them to be treated decently in the world. Amen. And man enslaves men. I don't care what color a Cadillac is, it's still a Cadillac. I don't that's care right. what color a human being is, it's still a, a, a human being. Mm -hmm. And that's why when people come out of a horrific uh, situation, they generally put a document together. The document says, we don't want to be treated like this into perpetuity. The document deals with the past and the future. Mm -hmm. And in America, that becomes a constitution. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking, no, from Rod's point of view, he should be asking everybody to love everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we understand that we will not get that. Mm -hmm. right. So that's why you have a document that ensures everybody talk about founding fathers, fine. But the founding fathers are not to be worshipped. Nope. The presidents today is not to be worshipped. Human yeah, beings are not to not. be worshipped. Mm -hmm. What we do is we make an allegiance to the Constitution or the document that ensures everybody's freedom, everybody's enhancement, embellishment, everybody's right to what's just. So if you don't love me, you have the constitution to deal with. Yeah. So there's no, you know, there's no vicissitudinous changes in the constitution. Yeah. Now, uh, if I were to go further, I'm not trying to be too garrulous, but now preach, brother. Understand, yeah. but understand this: if we have a constitution, then we should not have justices that are partisan. Mm. We should have justices that live up to the Constitution and what is conservative and what is liberal. If you got an eagle flying, it's got two wings. Mm -hmm. If it leans too far to the left, it's going to go around in circles. It's ultimately going to crash. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. This is a conversation I had with Lorenz Tate. If mm. it leans too far to the right, right, it's going to turn around. It's going to crash or it's going to go around in circles. Yeah. There has to be balance for it to go forward. Yeah. So mm. what I'm saying essentially is you freed the slaves, fine. Or after you die, how do you free something after you die? Right. Uh, that's ludicrous in and of itself. But the whole point is... You wrote a constitution and you might not have had us in mind, hmm. but you got to deal with it now. Yeah. Yeah. That's now, right. The last message I want to preach, and I could, I could say it in a way that I'd be through today, but the symbol of justice is that woman with a blindfold with a balance. Have I got that right? Yes, mm -hmm. you have. Yes. But I think... We need to put one hand way up in the air and the other one on the ground, and we need to take the blindfold off oh. that lady. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Because if we continue the way we are, and 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 Rod, I love him, but he did not say anything about justice. Mm. What justice does is brings the country together. Mm -hmm. Nobody hates America. We're simply saying to America, live up to the document yep. in the mm -hmm. same way I have to preach the document that's in front of me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The kingdom of God, justice is spiritual, Rod. Mm. Ooh, because yeah. it's, yes. because speak about Bishop that. Bishop Noel Jones, yeah. uh, I gotta Ooh. ask you this. Looking back, was Christianity's role during slavery a tool of faith, strength, and guidance or a tool to oppress and control black people? Let me tell you this about that, about that. I've got to deal with the issue later on today mm -hmm. as to whether the Bible is a white man's book. Well, let's understand one thing, that the Bible is, is, was written primarily by Jews except for Luke. Mm -hmm. Now, whether the Caucasians decide that the Jews, whether Japheth thinks that Shem is equivalent to them or not, that's a question. They try to wreck us with Ham. Correct. But when you deal with a document, you deal with a document in terms of interpretation. The Unification Church, that is Dr. Hot Jahan Moon, who's running it now, who most people run away from, but at mm. the end of the day, most Christians, but at the end of the day, you have to make connections for what blesses the world. Now, 
I'm not going to deal with the idiosyncrasies of their interpretations of who they are. Everybody's entitled. We all do that. But she makes a point, and I agree with the point, is that oftentimes intent determines content. Mm. And, and, and they, the whites who moved into the rest of the world use the Bible to control the entities that they sought to colonialize. Mm. What happened was we use the same Bible mm -hmm. to survive. Mm -hmm. That's true. Now, I was in Africa, I was in Africa doing a thing with South Africa, SABC with Tabo Touch. And, uh, and somebody said to me, they said, Bishop, we need to ask you a question. When we were doing our tribal stuff, when we were doing and running around dancing and doing our tribal stuff, mm -hmm. we own the land. Mm -hmm. A group of people bought a Bible and, and they brought the Koran. Now we have the Koran and we have the Bible, but we don't have the land. We don't have the land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, that's deep. How do you deal with that, Brother Bishop? Well, I'm caught, the, I'm open to all of Africa, so now I'm caught in a quandary. How do I respond? And in the middle of this conundrum, I heard a word, and I simply said, it's all about interpretation. Right. Mm, yeah. now, At the end of the day, if you have a certain intent, mm -hmm. you're going to bring your content. The content. Now, mm -hmm. Bishop John. The content is based on the intent. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes, exactly. <sighs> Powerful. Oh, my gosh. Now, Bishop Jones, Sunday is Father's Day, and black men specifically need a strong message yes. of hope right now. Can you tell us about a call for 5,000 men? I'm calling 5,000 men because I want to deal with multiple issues. Mm -hmm. I want to deal with economic power. Uh, there's a young man in this city, uh, in, in L.A., I'm in L.A., and uh, I know his first name, Troy. He's one of the young pastors. He's one of those Stephen Green kind of guys. Mm -hmm. I'm passing out. I'm the old man in the nursing home of ministry. No. You're the elder. You're the no. OG. No. <laughs> no. I'm the OG. Yes, sir. Yes. OG, yes, sir. But we want to talk tomorrow, and uh, God's willing, we're going to talk on Sunday about the issues of the black male overall, mm. overall. And one of the things that he does in his church is he provides means for economic development among the men in his church. And I think we need to cover that. Black lives matter in terms of living, but black lives matter in terms of economics. Black lives matter in terms of relationships with their families. Black lives matter on all issues of life. Yes, yes. yes.